It is time for the highs and lows of the week. Our first high goes with due respect to Gaga, J-Lo, and the new president of the United States to the star of this week's inauguration ceremony. National Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman stepped to the microphone with the world watching and gave a rousing reading of her original poem, The Hill We Climb. We will rebuild, reconcile, and recover in every known nook of our nation, in every corner called our country. Our people, diverse and beautiful, will emerge battered and beautiful. When day comes, we step out of the shade of flame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Gorman, who is just 22 years old, drew praise from all over the place, including from Oprah, who wrote, Maya Angelou is cheering, and so am I. By the way, Gorman's two upcoming books quickly moved to number one and two on Amazon's bestseller list. Meanwhile, one of the heroes of the attack on the United States Capitol, Officer Eugene Goodman, was given a new title as he escorted Vice President Kamala Harris to the inauguration. Acting Deputy Senate Sergeant at Arms, United States Capitol Police Officer, Private First Class, Eugene O. Goodman. You'll remember Officer Goodman, alone against a mob, bravely led the group of rioters away from the Senate chamber during the attack of January 6th, potentially saving many lives. Members of Congress now have introduced legislation to award Goodman the Congressional Gold Medal. Give Officer Goodman all of the awards. Our first low is that feeling when it's cold out and you really wish they'd just get the inaugural show on the road. Unless you've been living under a rock this week, you've seen the image that has launched a thousand memes. Senator Bernie Sanders sitting alone in a folding chair wearing a parka and a pair of mittens. We call this the full Vermont. The photograph sent the internet scrambling to outdo itself with endless memes. Bernie made his way onto a New York City subway. He had some lunch with the fellas in that famous old shot high above New York City. He had a front row seat to history next to Churchill at Yalta in 45. He sat next to Forrest Gump waiting for the bus. And he pondered his next move across from chess phenom Beth Harmon in the Queen's Gambit. Bernie even was dropped into the famous scene from the movie Ghost, where his mittens replaced Swayze's hands around Demi at the pottery wheel. Those mittens were a gift from a second grade teacher in Vermont named Jen Ellis, who makes them out of old sweaters. We hardly even scratched the surface there of the Bernie memes this week, and there is no end in sight. Thank goodness. We'll be right back with your Sunday mug shots. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.